Real quick, if you'd like to get in contact with me, check the community tab on my channel or in the Discord linked in the description. There you'll find pages for the Chromatic Chronicles as they come out, and if you'd like to help support the comic and this channel, then check out my Patreon, also linked in the description. Starting uh, tier is only a dollar a month, and simply going up the tiers will just get you more and more perks as you go. From getting a cameo role, a supporting role in the story itself, and possibly getting your own miniseries if you're the highest tier. Also in the Discord is the art room where you can find an artist or graphic designer to get what you need commissioned at a fast and reasonable price. Also linked down below is my Twitter where you can find me drawing fake mon on occasion. And also use hashtag versus beepyverse. Check out the Friday Night Funkin' mod a friend of mine's working on. Thank you all for watching. Now without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> how there's no build-up to the fact that the shark has three heads like like in two-headed shark head you know there there was that bump in music you know there was that bit of skiing going on to essentially recreate the poster on the dvd but you know it built up the fact that this is a two-headed shark but nope boom one extra head I love how this shark, instead of going for the lone guy on the buoy, just pulls a man-eater and jumps onto shore to nosh on a few people. Actually, let's make that uh, 15 minutes. We're heading up there now. You just know the only reason they made that phone a video phone was just so the guy could seem a little pervy. So guys, currently we are half a mile under the ocean. This underwater station is so special to everyone that works here. And yet it looks like a bootleg Subnautica base. And not even a good Subnautica base. Someone's first Subnautica base. The one that gets ripped apart by Reaper Leviathans. This weird how pollution is affecting the habitat surrounding the garbage patch. And what this means for the animal life native to those ecosystems. I don't think radiation was ever mentioned, but... Um, why study the damage of the garbage patch, and why not just, you know, clean up the garbage patch? This is what happens when people can just toss their garbage wherever they want. Well, yeah, but also those people who look at garbage and are like, you know what, someone else will pick it up. I don't think the right word is complacent, but Captain Planet died in vain. Oh, no way! Is that a, is that a whale? I don't know what's more unbelievable. The fact that he thinks that the clearly shark-like motions is that of a whale, or the fact that this guy apparently is wearing a long sleeve shirt in the middle of summer. How fucking bored do you have to be to be so enthralled by the sight of a whale that you dash out in the water to the point where you trip into the water? Get out of the water! I don't think that's a whale. So this now 40-foot, three-headed shark jumps out of knee-high water, like 20 feet into the air, and dives back into knee-deep water that apparently isn't knee-deep. Now the shark is interested in attacking the base for some reason. Wow. He survived. I mean, last movie you couldn't even stick your toe in the water without the two-headed shark coming at you. And somehow this three-headed thing that's like 80 times more pissed off just, just peaced out. Is the three-headed shark some kind of tease? Two people just swam in the water next to it, and it did nothing. Like, not not even a nip. The guy still has both his shoes. He could have at least, like, nipped his shoes off. Guys, I can't stay here. We're gonna die if we don't leave. Out of the way! Whoa! Whoa! No! Come on! 
after what amounts to a firecracker goes off, scared white girl goes in the water to bring her buddy along, and then generic horror movie cliche number seven happens, and she doesn't even care that he's dead. Either that or the shark is incredibly racist. Coast Guard, please! Yo, this is Max Burns. You're on the wrong frequency. Oh shit, it's the uncle from Spy Kids. Don't piss him off. You wouldn't want to piss off someone who beats someone half to death just to get money to buy a burrito. That is something that happened in the Machete movies, right? I kind of vaguely remember it. You know what would have been cool, considering that this is about a shark that eats basically anything? Um, what if the three-headed shark was a tiger shark? Because, you know, tiger sharks literally eat anything. But no, I guess the Great White is just that much more marketable. Despite what they said about this shark eating pollution making it crazy and the fact it's shown to be super aggro, this shark seems oddly chill for some reason. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Wow, you sound, uh, super nervous. Help us, where are the life rafts? I'm sorry. We need to get off this boat. Just tell us where they are. I'm sorry, we don't have any. What? No life rafts? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I'm Let's be honest, even if there were life rafts, they'd be as useless as boobs on a shark. No, 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 ignore that. But, um, if two-headed shark could sink a life raft, three-headed shark can sink a life raft. Okay, I know recycling stuff is a thing in shark movies. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that beach running scene from Shark Zone. But that was literally a shot-for-shot shot recreation of a scene that happened in Shark Attack in the Mediterranean. This heap's on its last legs. From the looks of this thing, it isn't doing any better than we are. We're gonna do what we came here to do. Try to help. It's just too bad you came here and already 80 people have been eaten. I'm just gonna say this now, in spite of whatever I say, this movie is long and it's droll, but I wish this shark didn't sound like Rosie O'Donnell in a sea cucumber fighting over leftover fast food in a bathtub. Okay, but why though? Think we'll be safe there? I think it's the only land we can reach. Right now, that's the only thing we have. Yeah, only land you could reach. Land a ho! Land over there, and land over there. <laughs> a huge ass shark jumps onto a boat, somehow doesn't sink it, and makes off with two guys. Only an asylum. Okay, look. David Trejo fighting a giant three-headed shark with a machete is awesome. If you need to get a money shot in, by all means, just not when the cool shit's happening. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. And just like that, the best part of this movie has died. You've seen exactly what it can do. That thing can get to us no matter where we are. Have you tried going to Kansas? Nebraska. Anywhere where it's landlocked. It's working! It's working! So the thing dies the same way as the evil thing from R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour. That's great. I wish I could fucking see it through all this blood. Looks like someone spilled grenadine in the water by the truckload. There's our man, there's our man, there's our boy!